Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. Today we are getting my postpartum baskets ready. Just getting everything ready for postpartum and everything that comes along with postpartum. So for me, postpartum is always the hardest part about having a baby. Um, the recovery is just like brutal for me. This is gonna be my third baby, so I do have things that I know work for me and just provide me a lot of relief, like much needed relief. So um, if you guys are interested in hearing about some of the things that I find are really helpful for postpartum, then keep on watching. If you guys are new here and are not already subscribed, please consider hitting the subscribe button down below. Make sure to give this video a thumbs up if you like it and if it was helpful for you. And without further ado, let's get into it. So I did go ahead and buy two of these baskets from Target and I thought that they were like the perfect size. I'm gonna put them on my toilet bowl or I'm gonna put them like on the toilet um, and I'm gonna have one downstairs and one upstairs in my bathroom. Um, that way just everything is where I might need it. And then I did also grab a box of adult diapers. Um, these are essential for postpartum. Do you know I'm looking and I can't help but smile Do you know how much I love you? You put my favorite song on I put my feet up and we just sing along And I can't help but feeling just loving this moment Can we stay here forever? Here's everything that I put in my postpartum baskets. So I do have my um, Depends or my adult diapers in here because I know that I will be using those at first um, before I start using the pads. So I have those in here as well as some Dermaplast. Um, Dermaplast is essential. It is so, so, so relieving for postpartum. I definitely recommend getting some Dermaplast. I also have a peri bottle. This one I think is so nice because if you look at it, it is angled. So you can just squeeze and it'll shoot like right where it needs to. Whereas the one that the hospital gives you, it works just fine, but it's not as like convenient as that. You kind of have to like spray and it gets everywhere. So um, I definitely like this. This is like gonna be so nice. So I have that. And then I also have some tux pads. These are great to like line your pad or your adult diaper with. Um, so definitely get these. This is a 40 pack and I went through a couple of the 100 packs. So I probably will need to get more of these, but I do know that the hospital gives you some as well. So we'll see what they give me. And then if they don't give me enough, I will probably go get more of those. And then I did get this tux. Let's see if you can see. This Tux hemorrhoidal cream. Um, this is really good for hemorrhoids. It is a local anesthetic and protectant. So um, it's got lidocaine in it and everything. So it's really like relieving for hemorrhoids and just down there in general. So I have this in there. This one I'm gonna keep downstairs since I feel like I'm gonna spend most of my time downstairs. And then this one is gonna go upstairs in my bathroom. So again, I have the diapers, but the hospital does give you all of this stuff to take home. So I only bought duplicates for the one that's gonna be downstairs um, because they will give me a peri bottle. It's not gonna be like this. It's not gonna be as nice, but it will do the job for when I'm upstairs. They're also gonna give me a dermaplast and some tux pads. So once they give me those, I will just put them in here but for now, this is really all I have. So I'm gonna go put this in the bathroom just so that it's ready. I could stop the time, don't you know that I would? Cause I'm just loving this moment. Can we stay here forever? I like that it kind of like goes with the bathroom and it's not like too noticeable. I mean, obviously if we have guests over, <laughs> they're gonna see that, but like what do you expect for a postpartum mother? So that's gonna be right there. And then like I said, I'm gonna have the other one go upstairs and I will fill it with the same exact stuff 
once I get it from my hospital. And then I do also wanna show you guys some things that I didn't put in my baskets, but they're also really good for postpartum. So the first thing is just some like big oversized pads. I got these ones. Obviously you're not gonna need like ultimate protection for your entire postpartum um, phase. Usually after the first week or two, I can like downsize all my pads and I'm not like just leaking blood literally everywhere. <laughs> TMI, but you know, it's postpartum talk. What do you expect? So I do have these, but I will probably get some like lighter pads eventually. And then I also just got these comfort low rise brief underwear. I feel like these you're going to need, especially when you start using like pads and stuff. And I don't normally wear these kind of underwear. So um, I just picked these up at Target, but it's just a four pack. And honestly, you don't want to wear anything that's like lacy or whatever. So I just got these and honestly, if they get blood on them or they get ruined, I don't care. So I have these for when I downsize into like smaller, less protection pads. <laughs> and then I also did pick up some unscented plain Epsom salt. These are amazing for like sitz baths and stuff. They are really good for healing. I like to take a bath like once every like one to two days um, if I can, just to kind of help heal down there and cleanse since you can't really wipe. That's why you need the Perry bottle. Epsom salt is really good for just making sure everything down there is really clean. So I got a big bag of that, which I know I will for sure use. The hospital also will give you ice packs, which I will add to my postpartum basket once I get home. They usually send like two or three, sometimes four, home with you after you leave the hospital. So I will add those to that. You don't need those for super long time after you give birth, but I use them for at least like two or three days postpartum. They just really help Sorry, my hand is like literally killing me. I don't use the ice packs for too long postpartum. I didn't with Noah, with Weston, since I tore so bad. I use them for at least like a week or two. So depending on how my recovery goes this time, I may or may not buy more of those. I did find a box from Frida Mom at Target. It was like 20 bucks for I think eight ice packs. They had decent reviews, not the best. I didn't buy them just because I don't know if I'll need them, but they are, that is a good thing to know um, that they have those in case you do need the ice packs. They're just so nice for like cooling down there because postpartum burns, you guys. It burns real bad. <laughs> um, and then another thing that is really good to have if you don't wanna do ice packs is to make your own padsicles. So I'm not doing that this time because the ones that I made with Noah, I didn't really use that much because I used the ice packs instead. But if you are someone who wants to do a pad sickle, you literally just take a pad and then you put some aloe or aloe vera on it and then put it in the freezer and you can make like 10 of them and just have them in your freezer ready to go. That way, when it's time to change your pad, you can put that on and it's cooling. Those are really nice to have, but I'm not making them this time just because I don't know. I prefer like the tux pads and the dermaplast and the ice packs that the hospital gives me. So that's what I'm gonna do. But I will say that pad sickles are really nice too. Just make sure that the aloe vera you put on them is like natural and like almost 100% aloe because you don't want like a bunch of different chemicals down there that you don't need. So yeah, that is a good tip. Get Epsom salt, pads, some underwear, adult diapers. The adult diapers are really nice because like, honestly, I can't even fathom putting these on postpartum. Like everything is just so loose and heavy down there. I don't know how else to explain it. You, you'll you understand once you have a baby, but the adult diapers are so nice because they go up so high that they don't have like a seam that kind of bugs you. Um, they kind of, they go over your belly, which is nice, not to suck it in, but to just give it some support. Um, so I just prefer those and I prefer wearing them for like a week or two postpartum, but that's just my preference. So yeah, I have, I have lots of stuff just in case, you know, I don't want to do the diaper, I want to do a pad. I've got it all, a Perry bottle. I'm really excited about the one that I got this time because I've always used the one that the hospital gives me which you have to like squeeze and then spray up, but then it like it's on your hand and it's just, it's not very fun. So I'm really excited about that Perry bottle. This is also really good to take postpartum. It just helps um, with your uterine muscles and your pelvic muscles. 
and it can assist in like wound healing and just you know, it's really good for postpartum. So had to mention that before I forgot. Anyway, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope this helped you in some way. If it did, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to subscribe if you aren't already and I will see you guys in my next video. Bye. You, everything's complete. Do you know how much I love you? I put your favorite song on.